Okay, numbers. Uh, we already talked about this in a couple different places, but uh, let's do it again. So numbers and flow num, two objects we want to talk about here. Number, if you type in number in a new object, um, just like make a new object and type in number, then you get this number box. And that's the one that does just integers. No, no floating point numbers, no decimal points. It just generates whole numbers, integers. Uh, flow. You can also type i, sorry. I like oh, the yeah, 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 you're right. So i generates I a, a, a number box. Uh, F generates the flow num, which is only on differences. One generates integers, one generates decimal point numbers or, flo yeah. or floating point numbers. So flow num stands for floating point numbers. Um, all right, what what else can we say about this? So, I mean, that's pretty much, it's, it's, that's it. But these are message boxes with numbers right. in them. So like I can take them, I can type a message box or I can type a number into a message box and then have that go into the number box. Um, same with the, the floats. Um, okay, set. Okay, what does a set mean? Set 25. If I tell, if I type the message set 25, the difference is that, um, so over here with these number boxes, it goes into this number and then it also propagates down through to the any connected objects to it or to the print object. If I send set 25, it does it, but look, it didn't propagate. It just sets the number without outputting it, which can sometimes come in handy. Okay, that's number and flow num. Anything else? No, we already, okay. Yeah, no.